Hey guys, I bring your way one of the best news of the year 2024 for all international applicants looking and seeking for information that will help them to be able to achieve their Canadian plans or relocation. Yes. Now, this program that I'm about to share with you does not require that you have IELTS or any language certification whatsoever. There is no age limitations or restrictions whatsoever. You can apply from anywhere all over the world, where, regardless of where you're watching this video, you can apply from anywhere all over the world. Now, there is no degree required from anyone to be able to apply for this program that I'm about to share with you. And once you, ask, once you submit your application successfully, you are automatically considered for about 18,000 Canadian scholarship. So which means you are almost going to be studying for free in this school. Yes, it's, it's the best news, right? So that is why I said it's one of the best news of the year 2024. So which means you need to watch this video to the end. Another good thing about this program is that when you are done with your course or your program, because you'll be studying an health-related program or course, when you are done, the province that you'll be studying in in collaboration with your school, they will assist you to learn a job in the earth sector. And when you've successfully reside in this province for up to three years, you will have the opportunity to apply for permanent residence and subsequently apply for their citizenship. That's great, right? Now, this school have campuses in about three provinces in Canada. They have in Ontario, they have in, um, in Vancouver, and they have in Halifax. Now, I am going to suggest that you apply for the campus in Halifax because the, the way of life and the standard of living in that place is way cheaper and way affordable to, I mean, when you compare it to those people that will be living or schooling in Vancouver or Ontario, so that is just my own suggestion. So today I'll be showing to you the details about this program, everything you need to know about the application and how you can successfully submit your application. So come with me. Let me quickly show you the details about this program. So the name of the school is called Oxford International North America in Canada. And it is located in Halifax. And as I said earlier, they have campuses in Vancouver, Ontario, and Halifax. So as I said, you, you, I'm, I'm suggesting to you that you should choose the one that is in Halifax because if you, I mean, as an international applicant, if you want a place where you will be able to, you know, start your life without bothering too much about standard of living, Halifax is the best location for each of these campuses that they have available. Now, let's quickly check some other information about this school. Now, over the years, they have supported about 500,000 students. I mean, and you can school in this school physically and online, and they have been in existence for the past 33 years of education, and they have partnership with different universities and colleges in Canada. Now, let's quickly check one other information, over 4.5 million scholarship has been provided so far, which is why I said once you submit your application, you are automatically considered for up to 18,000 Canadian scholarship. Now, over 530,000 students have registered and they guarantee job support for students. Pathway to PGWP, which is postgraduate work permit for all international students, okay? So now when you want to make your applications, all you need to do is to click on apply for English courses and it will, where we are going exactly is to apply for a diploma programs. Now, when you click on this, it will take you to this place where you would need to be able to submit your application. Now, when you, 
when it takes you to this place, all you are, all you just have to do is to, you know, select your, uh, I mean, put your name, select how you would like to be referred to, Mister, Miss, you know, uh, Miss or whatever you like, you 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 identify with. Put your name, your date of birth, you know, your gender, Black African American, your language. You select it here, mind you. In Canada, the two recognized language that they recognize in Canada is English and French. So any one of them that you have proficiency in, you need to select it. Now you choose your country and then do the student currently have a valid international passport, you have to put it here and then you put your valid international passport number here, expiration date and your date of address. I think these sections are very, very simple. How did you hear about us? You can choose here. And then you, once you click on next, it will take you to this place. And in here, it wanted to know whether you are applying through an agent. I mean, this is a very simple application procedure that you do not need anybody for. That's why I'm going to take my time to show you how to submit your application for this. Now, you do not need an agent, so you can just skip this session and click on continue. So when you click on continue in here, it is asking, so it is asking which preferred college would you like to study in? So in here, as I said, choose Halifax. So of course, they also have Vancouver. So these are the two places in which they are recruiting inter international applicants for now. So as I said, choose Alif Halifax because of the simple and affordable ways of living in this province. Now, as I said, this is the diploma courses that you are going to be applying for. They have two of them, continuing care assistant and early childhood education. So, and that's why I said it is an health related course and they will assist you to get a postgraduate work permit and help you to secure a job after working and finishing your program in this school. So you choose which one you particularly like and identify with. Now your language, have you met the English language requirement? You choose yes, then it will ask you which language required. If you have an IET, yes, you can put it if you do, but if you don't have, put others. Then you need to, once you put orders, you need to, you know, come in here and it is asking which start date do you want to start? Uh, 6th of August, 9th of September, you know, depending on your schedule and because of the timeline and numbers of document preparations, among other things that you will need, I will suggest that you can look to as early as January or November of this year, as your resumption time. But of course, they, you can always make your choice. They, they, I mean, you can see all the different choices and options that you have available for this year and for next year. So you can look at your schedule and look at which timeline based on financial preparation and every other thing, which one will be comfortable for me. So you can choose them here. But if I am the one making or submitting for this application, I would prefer either January of next year or November of this year to give me enough time to prepare myself. So once you're choosing something there, you click on next and immediately it will take you to this place asking, do you require a visa to study in Canada? Yes. Have you been, have you ever been granted a visa to Canada? No. Have you ever had a visa application refused for any country, for any country, not only Canada now. So if you have, you know, applied before, don't forget this. Uh, EU countries and, the, and, the, and, and some of those countries, they maintain a universal database. So if you lie, you are, you know, injuring or damaging your applications because eventually once they punch your name and international passport details on the, on the system, they will find out if you lie. So don't, there's no need to lie, okay? If you choose yes, it's, it, the only thing it will ask you is why is your visa denied? You, you can now choose the reason, maybe, you know, as long as you are not a terrorist or maybe you are not a drug dealer and all of those things that then that might be what will, you know, hamper your application. So any other reason, if you have ever been denied a visa, you can put it in there. So once you're done there, you click on next, and then it will take you to what is your highest level of education. That is why I said it does not require a degree. So your highest level of education, if you are just a YHEC holder, just choose high school. And in which country did you obtain this? You put Nigeria. So or whatever your country is, you select it there. And if you have a degree, you choose undergraduate and you put the details of your undergraduate program there because, of course, they will verify all of these things. Now, who will be funding your studies with respect to um, if you have any percentage of uh, tuition fee to pay or if you have accommodation, you know, 
where the standard of living, living expenses, among other things, who will be sponsoring you? Is it you, your parent, or a government scholarship or sponsorship that you have? Any option that applies to you, you choose them here. Yeah. Now, you click on next. Do you have any disability? Do you have um, a whatever, you know, I, I chose none, Nile, and, you know, do you have any criminal conviction? No. Do you, if you have answered yes, yes. And then do you require accommodation? If you require support for accommodation when you land in Canada, you choose yes or no, depending on what options works for you. Now, in here, you are, you agree to the terms and conditions that every information that you have provided are true. And then you are giving them authorization for them to verify with your previously uh, studied institution for them to verify your certification. So you 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 tick yes here, yeah, you tick yes here, yeah, and uh, uh, you understand that courses fees are subject to review. I mean, you tick yes, almost everything in this place you tick yes and yes. And then would you like them to be contacting you for marketing related information and advertis adver 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 advertisement? You choose yes here. Yeah. Then you declare that uh, you are traveling alone or applying for a permit without a dependent. Then you choose yes in that session as well. Then you can click on next. So once you click on next, it will bring you to where you would need to attach all the relevant documentation, copy of your international uh, passport. If you have any certification in English that you would like them to, if you have any transcripts in English that you would like to attach, if you have any previous student visa details and institutions that you would like to attach, any supporting documentation or whatsoever that you'd like to attach. And mind you, you need to submit what is called a motivation letter. A motivation letter is what shows to them why you are why you want them to consider you for one of their scholarship or why you want to study this course, why it's why it is very important to you, how it will help your career. What, what this course and this school, what you are hoping that this course and this school will be able to amplify in your personal self, your skills, and your career growth. So those are some of the information that needs to be embedded in your motivation letter or purpose statement. So those are the information or documentation that are required for you to attach in this session. And once you are done with your application, you can click on submit and go to your you know, if you're a Christian, go to your prayer room, or if you're a Muslim, go to mosque or whatsoever that uh, you believe in and be praying that uh, your application is accepted. So that is why I said this is one of the easiest opportunity for you to achieve your relocation plan to Canada this year. So I've taken you through all the details about the application procedure, the different starting session that they have available and how you can you know prepare yourself prepare your accommodations uh, prepare your documentations and every other thing so which means literally they will be taking care of everything because even after so after getting into the school they will after you know meeting all the admission requirements they are the one that will be helping you to you know process all the visa student visa and everything and send it to the canadian embassy in your country and all once they email you that your application has been accepted and your student visa has been issued, you just need to take your uh, international passport to the nearest Canadian embassy in your country for you to get issued the international, uh, I mean, for you to get issued the student visa. Okay, so yes, this is one of the best opportunity that you can ever hear or see this year. Thank you very, very much for watching. And as we, as I said, don't forget like and subscribe to this channel. It is always very important to us. Like and subscribe so that by the time we bring information and opportunities like this, you will be the first person to get notification. And this is the kind of information that you can all hold. You need to share this information to your loved ones as well. It will really, really help a whole lot of people. If you have any questions or you regard or you require a one-on-one -on -one session with us, there are links on the video description that you would need to uh, follow through so that you, you can, you know, schedule a one-on-one -on -one session with you. And if you have any questions or comments, drop them on a comment session. We will try as much as possible to uh, uh, attend to them. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye for now.